Hey guys, it's Xavier Kelly. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to create and market an ebook. I just recently created a new ebook, which I'm going to show you at the very end. Um, you might want to go ahead and pick it up. It's about how to determine your target audience. So let's get straight into it. For most of you who don't know much about me, I'm Xavier Kelly. I'm a digital marketing specialist. I really focus on different things such as Google AdWords um, and building and selling digital products. I'm a web developer by trade too as well. I build a lot of web websites, different WordPress sites. So that's just a little bit about me. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos or first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button too as well. I do a lot of different things such as um, helping you build and sell digital products online. Also helping you build your service side business online too as well, such as getting clients and building them and actually getting, and getting more clients. I also do some stuff on SEO. Mostly stuff I do is on digital marketing and really for helping building your digital products. The first thing we're going to go over when when building an ebook is going to be over actually doing the brainstorming. So what you really want to do when when actually building the ebook is, especially when you don't have an idea at the beginning, is to find different ideas that you possibly can do. On the one I did right now, I really just sourced it out from different um, people in the community that subscribe to me through my emails and to my clients and all and different comments I get over different social media um, sites and just really just found what they wanted. And I want to start at the very basics, which is how to define a uh, audience, a target audience. So I went in and built a built around there. But for those who don't have a have a know exactly what to do, a good place to start is actually Google Trends. You can type in different type of um, topics as well, such as if you did digital marketing. And then it'll kind of tell you um, how much it is trending and then um, see right now it has no has no has that much data on here. But um, it's basically saying different places where it's interested at and just different ways that it's trending. And you also too can go back through. So let's try a better keyword than this. So let's go back. And as you see, they have March Madness. If you want to do ebook over basketball or college um, basketball, we could actually see that it's been picking up over time, especially since now International Women's Day. Um, and then different things like that and different people as well. So let's do something something more like SEO you see, you see if you were doing some topics over SEO actually Google right now is gonna problem our SEO so let's actually go back and do search engine optimization I think that would be a better one Let's try this one, search engine optimization. So we can see, um, we can see the see basically the different trends of how it's trending, and we can compare it also to different um, different ones as well. So if you want to do search engine optimization, and you want to compare it to content marketing, then um, let's see exactly how that one. We can see which one ranks higher, which one is getting more trends, which one is getting more traffic. As you can see, search engine optimization is way above content marketing. So that might be something you, you want to do. And let's say we compare it against social so Facebook marketing. So let's try that. So as we can see um, from here that SEO is way above all of these right now. And then content marketing is at the very bottom. And then um, you see that there's Facebook marketing. So this kind of gives you basic overview of what people are looking at, what people are caring about, and different things along that line. So you can really um, start when you're trying to actually develop and build your um, ebook. And that's like the first place I start off when doing it. You can see different, um, you can see also the different regions as well that um, might actually are looking for this and actually searching for this. And then you see a lot of related, related queries and different things on that line too as well. So Google Keyword Planner, which we're really talking about later as well. And then, and then from there, we really want to go into um, to just brainstorming and just keep putting this, all this down in the list. I like to use I like to use Twitter as well. It's a good place you can search on Twitter and you can just go over um, just like what's going on in Twitter and just see what people are thinking about. So if you're doing something like let's say we're still doing. Um, search engine. So let me sign in real quick. So 
so we can see basically see what other people are talking about as well just to kind of see if there's people care about this or people <coughs> we can really use this right here to see if people care about this and people are talking about this actively and it's a good way to see it on twitter because you can see what people are posting about what people are sharing um who's sharing it and really be able to build a foundation of actually um who your target audience is going to be for for actually your ebook and this is a good way to start right here and another one too as well um besides google trends and and twitter is going to be quera it's quera digest Quora is a good place and people answer, answer different, a lot of different questions um, and different things along that line and kind of just get to see where different people are coming from and different questions you possibly answer that people need to answer. As you can see right here, um, this says how exactly, how exactly does SEO work? That could be an ebook that you can basically put out and then anybody on this one, you can basically put your ebook on here as well um, to show people and kind of give them an example of how it works. And as you can see, a lot of people have answered this one as well. but. If you can see like how, do, how does SEO works and you can look at these different topics, these different related questions and see that there's a lot of questions on how does how does SEO work. And that would be a good ebook for intro to, for beginners. So you can see you already have your audience. And this is this really mixes in with research, brainstorming research, which we're going to go over. Um, the research portion, I like to go and use all these as well. These are basically the start of my brainstorming if I don't know what I'm but I'm thinking about doing an ebook over and I want to find a topic that people are, are looking for and actually care about. I'll start with these three. And then from there, I will go from these three and I will go to Google AdWords. And then I'll click on the keyword tool. And, and if you don't have a Google AdWords, then, um, then you should just sign up right here. You can sign in. I'm gonna sign in right here because I already have my account. And then we're gonna go straight into it. Um, as soon as it loads. And then once it loads, um, basically we're gonna use this right here just to validate um, who's searching for it and if people are searching for it. Just so we see, basically we're gonna see if it's possible for us to be able to sell it on Google AdWords if we have people searching for it searching for these keywords so let's go back to um aquara this does let's look up how does how exactly does seo work how does seo works because we, we've seen a lot of people searching and looking for this on Quora. so there might be a lot of people on google AdWords searching for this as well so this would be a, a good ebook to write if not many people have wrote this ebook before as well so just type this in and let's do Let's see how it works. And then from there, um, we can do SEO tutorial for the other ones. And this is just the demo going through just to show you. And we leave all this the same right here. And then when, as it loaded up, we'll be able to see basically what who are, who's searching for this, how many people are searching for this. And you, as you can see, there's quite a bit of people searching for this. Um, as Google says, 10 to 100,000 a monthly. So that's a lot and you see that there's a lot of people searching for this also um you see each keyword is 10 to 10,000 it's low competition so this is already looking like a really good book that we should go through and an ebook we should go through and create because we went through the brainstorming part we see that people were searching for people there's very trending right now it's way more than any other topics that we know about and also as well on twitter there's tons of people who are sharing um almost tons of images all day throughout the day on different things on SEO um, or how SEO works, as we can see. And there's already 53 new ones just from the time when we um, were just on Quora and then on, on the Keyword Planner. And then as we go up to Quora, you can see, you can be able to see e easily that this is be a good keyword to do. And this is basically what I do for my research. I start off with Google Trends, see and compare our three different options together, then go through each one of the options. So I will go through Search engine optimization. I'll go through content marketing and then go through Facebook marketing, and I will and I basically type each one of those keywords in on on Twitter. See if people are talking about them. See who are, who is talking about them, and basically see how big their followings are, and then see how we can be able to basically sell to them. And this is something they will pay for. So as we see on that one right there, so see it on there. We just we start right there, and then also too, I head over to Quora as well, and I type in just um just my topic. So. For this one, um, we've already seen, already from the beginning, we already see how, how 
how exactly does SEO work? And this is where I start right here on Quora to really define down and niche down the actual ebook. And and basically when you go from here, you really wanna um you really wanna just look for different questions and try to answer one question that has multiple questions underneath it. And and so as you see how ex how exactly does SEO work work, and then we have seen it with validated up from the trends, Google Trends, and that, and also with Twitter as well. So a lot of people are sharing this and care about this. And Quora has validated this community of people who are who are looking for this. And there's almost over a hundred answers, if I'm if I believe on this one as well. Let me just check. Yeah, there's over a hundred plus answers. So a lot of people care about this. And it has 103 follows. Quora doesn't show us views, but there's there's been quite a lot of bit of traffic on here. And then when we went over the keyword planner, um, this is where we use to validate if people are actively searching for these keywords. And as we've seen, there's a lot of people who are actually actively searching for these keywords with a low competition on these keywords as well. So if we use this right here, we'll be able to also sell this sell this ebook if you wanted to or to get targeted traffic. So those are like the main areas that I start with just researching. Um, and then once I finish these four right here, I'm gonna leave the links down in the steps two as, low, as well below, um, just to give you a reference of where I started as well from the brainstorming to the research. Um, so you also remember all the links are gonna be down in the description. And then from there, um, I go over to Amazon, and this is where um, I, I this is where I kind of do something that most people don't really do. Um, there are quite people, some people doing this, but basically I go over here and then I would type in. Exactly. Let me see. I go back to my keyword, and I and I like the how it, how does SEO work? I'll type this in on Amazon. Um, I will put it in as a book, and basically what I'm trying to see exactly. It, basically, I'm trying to see just um, what books are right now. Right now, what people are using, and because basically in the end, as we see, and when I talk about the marketing part. Uh, we really want to put our ebook on here too as well, um, just to get distribution and, and for people to know about us and people to read our content. As you can see, um, there's quite a few books on here, and that shows that there is a topic for this. Um, there's only seven results all together, so it's not too competitive, and it's something that we really should, um, you know, we really should try not to. We really should work on because if you came to this page, and then there was a um, hundred, then that may be something you might want to switch your switch your topic. Because it's, it's very saturated, um, but you st you still could possibly do it, but you have less. It it would be harder to actually accomplish this. So as we see on the Facebook one, there is tons of competition, 364 pages of competition, with about 10 to 15 on a, each page to 20. So this one wouldn't be Facebook or Facebook um, marketing. Let's try that. One. Wouldn't be the the best one to do. As we can see, there's over. 2,321 um, different Kindle books and just in, in the Kindle store. So this is basically where I see what a competition is. Um, basically, who's doing it really well. As you can see, this social media one has 143 reviews. And basically how I take the reviews is that um, about 5% of people will review it. Uh, so just, I would really take these numbers and times them by you know, 10, 20 to 30. And you can kind of see exactly from my point of view of how people and people are actually um, getting this book and actually reading it. Um, and maybe more, it might be up to almost like 5% to one, um, to actually 1% of people who actually um, actually review it. So this could be have 14,000 downloads or it could have 7,000 downloads, but this is a lot of downloads. It shows that there's a lot of competition on here for these right here. There's a lot of people are actually searching for these, but if you can rank on top of Amazon for these books, then you're able to actually um, give your book away for free and you actually can get a lot of people to read your book. As you see, um, as you can see, we, we started out with Google Trends and this is where we just compared our three main options that we want to do, the three topics, just to see how many people are looking in these topics. And we see that um, search engine was way above everything. And this is where you really wanna take the three that you have. Um, so no matter what it is, um, if it's even like you trying to make a cooking rep recipe book, you wanna do certain styles such as breakfast versus lunch, first dinner then you put those three in here and then you see which one ranks higher and then you see a better overview of just how many people are, at, are really looking for this as well so and then from there 
um, we go over to Twitter and this is where we just validate that people are actively sharing. And we're going to come back to this later too, to really look at these people and actually get them to share our ebook as well at the end. Um, and then from here as well, from there we go to Quera and Quera is really where you um, niche down exactly what your um, what your ebook is going to be over as we did in this one um, which we found this one uh, at the very beginning how XEO works and then from from that we take those couple keywords we have we only enter two you guys should probably go into a little bit more depth and go into three four or five just kind of see the market and you can see that it's bigger picture but just from these two we've already seen that you can reach up to almost 20,000 people and as as Google was saying it um, almost 200,000 so so from there, um, we see that there's a lot of people searching for this and there's a lot of people who actually care about it, who are actively sharing this as well. And, it's, and this is one of the most pop, one of the popular topics. And then, and then we went on to Amazon to kind of go through the, um, the competitors and see how the, how the competitor, competitors are actually, um, what they're doing and how much competition there is. And then we've seen that um, if we'd have chose Facebook, there would have been a lot less people searching for it, but there would have been a lot more competition. So, um, so from over here, so then we've seen that, um, too, that, that, um, there, there was a lot of competition for how SEO works on, on Amazon as well. So that's something else that looks really good. So the next thing we really want to go into is just outline. So let's talk about, talk to this right here. I'm gonna go back over here and this is really just, um, something you're gonna really want to work on. I'm only kind of brief over the content and outline portion because you, you guys know more about your subject than I can basically go over it. But basically, when you outline your subject, you need to really, um, you really um, determine how you want your ebook to be. I did my ebook as I'm at the show right now, and actually like a more of a question answer type of feel. Um, I wanted the users to, to really, sorry, didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> I, I want the users to really um, use this as a worksheet instead of just something they read. I want them to print this out and to use this as a as a worksheet and be able to go over um as, exactly basically everything um that that they need for how to define their audience as you see i built it in canva as well which we'll go over to after we go into the content portion so as this loads up right now um you're really going to see how i structure mine's out i started off with just a brief intro to into the book and then i just went over the topic a little bit um, and then I broke it down because I want mine to be where at the end of the book, they end up with some result. And for me, for this right here was for them to end up with actually um, knowing who their audience is or coming pretty close to knowing exactly what they need to actually, actually, actually to define their audience. And so as you see, um, Canva does a couple of design. Oh, zoom out of here real quick. It's a little too much. So as Canva goes back and stops acting weird real second, we're going to scroll back out and then um, basically I'm going to be able to show you the different ebooks and also they come with different ebooks options. But basically you really want to go into your outline, how you want to do it. So I did mine just with, I always have, I would say I always have a title page, a good looking one. So I did just for my table contents, you can see I did my introduction. I did the rules with the rules basically go over how to use the book and for them to basically use the book efficiently and get the most out of it for them at the end of the book they can have their audience define and i really want to make it over basically so they get to the end in 30 minutes or, or less they can have their, their audience and then i went over the questions then i went over basically their target audience and i read some resources for them and then the authors as well um which is me in a bio but i mean a thank you page on them so as you can see how I structured it and now I outline it, I started with these points right here and then I broke it down more into a smaller outline and I did more and more inside of it. And then this really helped me write out the, the whole ebook and didn't take that much time. Only took about um, a week and a half, um, with about an hour here and an hour there, um, about, about four or five hours total. Um, and then another hour editing and then design was about two to three hours, but it didn't, didn't take that long. So when you actually go before you even write anything down, write an outline out, even you write like a simple table of contents and then just do um, bullet points in each section of basically what you want to talk about. Um, just so before you write in, you can know exactly w where you want to go and exactly um, where you see your content being at as well. Um, so but yeah, and then when you get into content, uh, the biggest thing I would say 
just the tips that I have on this right here from me going through this process is really find a good editor. Um, so just someone who can pre-free pre through everything you're doing and just make sure that um, they, underst for they understand and try to get someone too that's not actually in the field because um, it makes it a lot, lot um, it makes you actually really think about um, what you're saying and then how that actually pertains to them and how, how for them to be able to understand it. And it really makes you go through and be able to dumb your content down um, so that anyone can be able to read it and understand it um, very well. So that's one thing I would say, the two points I would say about content that you really, really should look into. And also too, um, there's different places you get editors on, on well, online too as well. If you don't have a friend who's a pretty good editor or you're not in school or anything like that, or you don't have anybody who can do the editing for you, um, if you go to Upwork, and you type in editor, you can get a whole list of different people to, to, to edit your, um, basically, basically you can edit your ebook or the different services as well. And there's some pretty good people on here, um, as you can see. Um, some of these rates are pretty high, and I know most of you will be like, oh, I don't want to charge, I don't want to pay for this much. But you can find some really good people like this $19 person who has 96 um, job rating. And you're pretty sure you can find some people around the $15, $10 range. Um, who can basically go through your book and edit it and make it give it that professional feel um, but also too the more you pay for it the better your edit is going to be but um if you pay a hundred dollars i don't i'm not saying that your edit is going to be a 10 times better than or 20 times better than the person or i guess five times better than the person over here um who's you're paying 20 dollars for but it will be better though so this is something looking to but this person has 100 percent jobs that so if you're looking for um, a new edit, a editor for yours. Make sure you hit the Upwork, and you can get one off over there. So for the design, um, I would tell you guys to use. Um, you can use Photoshop. You can use InDesign, which I guess would be the best option to use instead of Photoshop. But um, I suggest you guys to sign up for Canva if you haven't done so already. They have a wide range of tools that you possibly can use, and that's what I used to really build. Um, this out and just took one of their templates and made it my own and basically just added my own colors added my own kind of feel to it and it gave me a good thing way to actually build off of um, i'm going to go through and i'm going to start a new one um just so i can show you guys what what you can possibly do from the beginning so so let's go down to ebooks so right here we see them on, on, on the ebook right here and then and, 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 and Canva has um, already pre-made dimensions as well. And these are the same dimensions you can use in, in Kindle um, and also in different like iBook and um, you know Apple's um, store and different places like that where you can actually put your ebook up and so it can actually look exactly how it's supposed to. So this, as this load right here, we're going to see, I'm going to show you some different options. So Canva has a whole bunch of different layouts. So, so if we go into the thing when, I, when we talked about if we wanted to do um, something on the lines as you know, a cookbook or a cookbook ebook. Um, as we see, we can do something like here. We already have it, have something very nice and looks very nice that we can use, or we can change it up to any of these options right here. You can change the colors up. You can even um, go through and do different things to the images. Um, there's a lot you can do. They have different filters on here, which I like to do. One thing I've been using a lot is the blur. But for people doing cookbooks, I really want to recommend doing that. Um, but you can go through and do that, and you can have something look like that. But I wouldn't recommend it because your whole point is to show the actual, uh, exactly what you're cooking. But for anyone who's trying to get that blurry background, they have different options like that. Um, Canva has really um, made it um, very easy for us digital sellers to really go out, go and actually sell what we're doing. And especially anything online that's creative wise. And then all you need really need to do for your second pages is copy this over and then basically you can erase this portion right here and then um and then for your titles you can remove this part actually no we we'll, we'll remove part of this and basically for your title pages um you can remove this oh, let me just come back we don't remove this title we're gonna move part of the title part right here we're actually gonna make it smaller and you can change up any of the fonts so basically, if your brand has a certain font that it, that you use to fit your brand, you can easily change that. Um, it's not not really hard at all. Just go in here and choose what font you want, and they have a, a lot of the ones on here, especially a lot of the Google fonts. Um, so if you need any of those, so you can make this smaller, and then basically what we do after that is go through delete. 
So we delete this. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see better. Okay, and and basically this would be like a title page that we would use. So um, when we add a new section, and then you can we can put the content right here. And then as you see, let me get some Latin text really quick just so you can see how it will look. So I'm head over here and do this. So head back over here and do that one to this one. Oh, it's kind of a lot. So let me take some of this off. Probably up to. So yeah, so you see this would be the page and you would clone this page down and maybe pull this down a little bit. And then that'd be a title page right there. And that's all you really have to do. And then for, for, to be honest, for um, what I do on each one of my pages, um, as you can see in this one right here, um, I put my first name and then I put my um, web address at the bottom and then the page number. Um, that's how I do it personally. Um, you can do it different ways. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it, but I basically do this because I'm trying to really push out my personal brand and I want people to visit my website. And if you want people to visit your website, it's a really good thing to put this at the bottom. I wouldn't do it as big as you do on the front page as the title. I really go through and probably downsize this to like a 10. Um, and then you can put any information you want to put on here, like the page, page one. And then basically you have your footer and you have everything ready for your page. And really um, all you need to do is go basically throw in your content. Um, one thing you really should look into eBooks, not many people do this, but throw in a couple images in there just to explain a couple of things because that image um, is worth a thousand words. So, you know, throw a couple of images in there and really just mix it up a little bit uh, just so you can be able to really just have something that catches people's eye and get people to read the whole eBook. And your eBook doesn't have to be long. Um, mine is only like around 22 pages and to be honest you can do something around 10 pages as long as you get your own point across so it doesn't matter how long it is or how short it is um, all that matters is that the end user gets the value from it in the end so and, and we're gonna use this ebook to, um, to basically build our, um, our branding and also to the um, establish yourself as an expert and then also too we're really gonna lead into um, just collecting emails which is one of the most important things to do as a digital seller um, a lot of people um, start out and they don't start collecting emails, but that is one of the best things to do and the first things to possibly do is start emails. So if if you you haven't started started actually looking to start email, I have a couple um, um, videos on the channel to actually help you get started on that. I'm going to link those down below too as well. But let's get back to this course right here. So at, once we have our page, we can easily go through and we can just copy this. And we have two pages right here. And then um, we can change the title up and do anything we want to do change the page name and this is basically how we will take our um basically take our take everything out and do it this way right here so i'm going to throw an image in here just so just so you guys can see um how that'll look and then i'm going to go to the export process so let me go grab an image on here and also to um they um canva gives away free images um to on here now so something you really can do is you go to free images and they give images on here and also too you can do paid images as well uh, it just really depends on what you want to do uh, so let's do this try this right here um try this images on image on here so if you were doing a cookbook and you want to show off basically on each page you want to give a give the just a recipe and then an image of, of what of what the meal will look like when it's finished um this is a good thing to do just throw some images in there pull down this portion a little bit, make this a little bit bigger. And it's all of it's drag and drop too as well. So it's really easy to do. So we can level that off right there. We can pull this down a little bit more. Um, probably down here. Now we have to move this out the title a little bit. So if we want to, we can literally make this full width. We can do something clean like this right here and send this a little bit. And it comes with different tools. So I really think Canva is one of the best tools possible right here. Um, 
so so this is really good too so you can do something like this on yours as well and have just the ingredients and instructions at the bottom and you can have your image right there they make it very easy to, to make an ebook over any different things you possibly want to um, and also too you can be able to import bring your own images into as well through here um, like I have right here bring your own images over and you can really be able to um, just be able to do anything you possibly want to do on here and then if you wanted to you want to keep if you like this section you can copy it um, and actually even before you copy it you can create different um, frames as well so if you wanted um, to do this right here with multiple different sections you can bring this over um, actually let's use this one So actually, let's let's find um just a simple one, one of them. So like this. So if you didn't want to do something like this, you can do that. But um, we're gonna find something a little bit better than that. And you can you can basically then from here you can put the image in from here if you wanted to. Um, I'm not gonna do it on this point because we're gonna give up to the top. We're gonna find the right. Let's find one. Um, find a better frame. I like this frame. This is very simple. So we want to do an image in the middle of each one. We can basically can copy this right here, and we can just clone it. If we got another one we want to do, and then easy enough. All you need to do in this right here, since you have to have the image there, you really need to just go to the images you have. Let me get out of this. And then um, you just slide the image in there and it takes on the image. And you can do that for um, this one too as well. Um, it's very simple. So just grab an image and you can just, and you can just easily just take it. Um, and grab one. So this one is actually, I can wear it right now. Okay, so let's bring this over. See, and there's your image right there. Um, and then that's how you can really be able to expand this out and really build, build upon this. So, so that's basically the whole process I use on Canva, um, just creating everything out. So I'm gonna go through just export file. Um, this is a small file. Um, this is me just giving you an example of how to do it, how I did it on mine. Um, I basically have, I went through a little bit more detail as you can see. And also too, um, I'm gonna leave a link down below if you do wanna define your audience so you can actually be able to use this ebook that I created. And then, um, so you can see basically how it looks like right here. Is all the pages and everything I did to basically to build it out. It's very simple. If I can do it, you can easily do it too. And you can even create books on here that you can possibly even sell if you wanted to over different topics. Um, it really just depends on just what you want to do. So it's really easy. So let's go down and do um, PDF standard. You can choose the different um, pages you want to do. You want to do specific pages. You can do JPEGs. You can do PNG, um, P PDF standard, do PDF print. Um, I would say stick to PDF standard just to start off with. And we can just push download. And then this usually takes um, a couple seconds, maybe like five to 10 seconds. Um, yours may take longer, it depends on your internet um, speeds. But um, this is really, um, I would say, um, just very easy to do. And then you can take this same file form format and you can use this to bring this into, um, bring this into Amazon. Um, and you also too, you can use this as well to bring it into um, your own website and actually be able to give this out as an email, as an um, as email um, giveaway. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through actually um, setting it up and putting it on your website. So now that we're on our website, I'm gonna back up in my website. And all you really have to do for this, as you see, is just if you bring this over and you brought it in like it's right here, then it will load. Um, and that's, that's really all you have to do. And from there, you will grab the link um, once it finished loading. Um, and then you can put in your title, your captions, your description, um, different things along that line too as well. I would say also to make this your, see you can see the how it looks. Um, let's go to the URL. And this is the URL you can use on your emails or you can send out um, as a link to your social media following for people to download it. Um, or basically anywhere you want to do it. So, and then you'll see that it comes up like this. It might take a second um, to load up, but um, it comes it basically gonna come up and it's gonna show you the whole thing right here and then it can easily go to the top and download it 
right on right here or print it out and this would be your ebook right here um, just going over basically your ebook right here and as you can see this is that one we added right here let's, let's zoom out so you can see a little bit better let's zoom back a little, a little bit you can see it kind of some ones we, we created you can create different styles as we said before and this is your four page or yeah five page ebook and then if you or this auto page you want it you have your ebook done and you do this all in canva and also too as I, as I said before canva is completely free so you don't really have to worry about um, really paying anything for this right here. So the only thing you have to really worry about is putting your time into this. And then the next thing, um, go back. So the next thing right there, you, then you have you right here, you see your minds, just push download or you can share it, whatever you want to do with that portion. And then once we have it on here, which I'm going to delete it right now, because um, this is an example one we have. And then from what you read here on mine, I have a new, um, have a really cool theme coming out here, coming out in a little bit that maybe you guys really like is a personal branding theme that's really helped you build your personal brand. Um, and it comes with a lot of different cool tips and stuff out here. But on the theme I built um, in WordPress, um, I, I built it out and for you to put your eBooks on there. And you can see, um, you can have an actual download folder, a download, um, download actual page for your eBook. Like a splash page or a landing page for your ebook, people can come up and actually sign up for your for your ebook and actually be able to get it. And then once they sign up, they get your ebook. So it's not simple. And you guys have something on your page like this as well. Um, and this is once you have your landing page for this and you put your content in there. This is where we actually begin on actually um, actually marketing your ebook and really getting people to onto it. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this right here. And this is where it gets pretty interesting. Um, from this right here. So let me let me get off of this. So this is a couple things we can possibly do to really push your book out. So one of the first things that we really can do, um, since we already been in there, is that every single person that we found on Twitter, let's type in how SEO works. So like all these people on here, we should we should literally we should really um message them and ask them to share or to review our ebook and basically just go over something on the lines of like we just created a new ebook over of how SEO worked. Um, I seen that you po you actually um posted this on your Twitter not too long ago. Um, maybe you know you would want to push this out to your followers as well, and then we can give them a graphic and something as well just to help us push them. But literally, we have. We have thousands of people and hundreds of people who are, have already um, been sharing this. So on um, certain of this topic, and we basically want to leverage them to really um, just really push our content out. This is a way that if, if you guys don't have that much money, this is a way that you really can use to be able to, um, to push out everything that you need to push out um, all your you push out your eBooks or really any product you're selling in online. Really push them out is to find people who are already talking about it, actively talking about it. To push out to them um, and just get people um, really interested into it and just talk to people over and over and, and a lot of them will give you feedback not everyone's going to share it but a good number of them um, will share it for you um, just for goodwill and then you know and it's a good thing to build connection you can see how all these all these people right here will go over just different SEO topics they've already sharing it and they've already cared enough about it and this really helps spread your ebook out and get people to download it so that's the first thing that I would say through. And then head back to Quera and you what you really want to do is that since we've already figured out um exactly that a lot of people search from this right here, we can go back to here. And then we can we, we now what we should do now is actually put on here our actual example. So basically so basically um basically what 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 we would do is put on, on put on different of pictures on here and a little summary of exactly of how exactly does SEO work um, when we answer this question and we'll take stuff from we take stuff in the ebook write our own stuff out and basically answer all the questions on here as many as possible that we possibly can um, on here uh, here and link back for resources to our our ebook and as you can see um, this question has 44,000 views 787 views people have viewed this question 
So the good thing we'll really be able to do is just uh, put your, um, so go in here and you go to answer. And then you go through there and you answer this question right here. And so exactly how does exactly the SEO work? You give a, a, a small brief, a brief, um, exactly how it works. And then from there, you link down at the bottom um, or anywhere in, your, in the content, you'll link to your actual page, which will be the page that um, we created before on, on your ebook. And then, um, then you see all these other sites over all these other questions over here. We'll do the same thing for all of these similar questions. And you see these have like 519 follow views, not as many as the other ones, but these have less less answers. So we have a higher chance of ranking. So we'll we go through that one. Um, we'll go through we'll do it on here too as well. And this um has 35,000 views. And we do a couple of these right here. And these right here also helps us with our SEO to be able to rank in the search engine as well on Google. So the biggest thing is to give a lot of value on the query questions. And then from there, a link to our resources that explain more in detail, such as our ebooks um, that we're doing. And then from there, um, you can be able to get your um, ebook to rank as well for this if you do enough of these. And then especially if you put good quality content to people who come to these pages will come to your link um, and actually see all what, what your ebook is all about. Now this one has 18,000 views. So you can easily see how you can easily do um, about 50 of these and reach um, almost over a million people or somewhere fringe of people who actually will be visiting it. So those will be the first two t tactics and these are completely free right here. Um, and then also to go ahead in the social media and then sharing in Facebook groups, the um, different Facebook groups that um, are looking for this and LinkedIn group and then also Google communities. Uh, those would be the those would be the errors right there and then also too one thing you really want to do is look at Yahoo um, groups as well a lot of people under, under, under utilize it and don't actually use it as much and a warrior form is a good place to um, give an offering out and you can actually offer your ebook on there for free so as you see right here we can do um we got a warrior form and then on here we can actually offer um offer our ebook as a as a free offer if we wanted to we can advertise on here for free which i when i have advertised on here i would say that <coughs> when i've advertised on here um i would say that the best advertising that i have i have really done have been for free products and then getting people to sign up and then after that converting the free users who sign up to paid users and that have been the best way i've done on here so if you didn't want to advertise on you could do that um, we can go um, basically create a new offer and we can offer this for paid price or we can offer this for um, basically we can offer this for free for, for my standpoint I would go through and offer this for free on here because um, I'm just trying to get the, the, the biggest reach as possible and that should tell you how many people are actively viewing as well so those offers and this is this is completely free too as well so and then we can do giveaways such on your content such as on your blog post and like if you go to my website I have a, a, a plugin that I use um, it's called bloom and bloom is from elegant theme and I'm actually gonna show you what bloom is right here you can buy it if you have already have elegant themes then um, you will be able to do this so and then you will be able to actually use this right here and it, is, it will be already included in your plan but it's an email opt-in form and it's really good for pop-ups or any different things along that line. And Bloom comes, you can make all these different things, gives you different analytics. Um, and it's very, it's very cool in some stuff here. I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna offer my plugin, I mean, my book, my ebook on here, and then I'm gonna offer it as just a, a special giveaway. And then they give me their email, they get the book, it sends to them from Mailchimp, which is my my provider. So um, I'm gonna give you an example of how this looks right here on one of my blog posts so basically you can set it up on here and it's easy to set up and you can set up really for that if you really want to um, basically get it to get it to load up at a certain time or basically any time you only time you want to load it like I have it if you get to the very bottom of the page or you get the 30 seconds then it loads up right here and then it has your offer and you put the email in and basically it works very well right here um they do that and you can use this to sell your ebook put your ebook um picture in here and the cover you can sell it through that as well and then it gives you analytics such as um 
just 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 the, um, the statistics over um you know how many people are opted in how many people have viewed this um the percentage rate of people who have converted over and you can do multiple different ones for an a b test is very very easy to do and and i would recommend if you don't have this plugin to go out and purchase it it's very very easy um to do and it's really good and then you get then you get updates on all the future product and too and as well it's really good plugin to really use um i would say that it is how you can do this and also too one thing you know to do is on specific content so each one of your blog posts you can put this book you put this on it or for your specific blog post over that topic you can put this over and then eventually when you have multiple ebooks you can put them over all the different blog posts you have and guys i know this video is getting longer and a lot longer than my other video but i just want to go in depth into that so that is the majority of the free items right there um the next items i would say if you have you know a couple you know fifty dollars to a couple hundred dollars or more money that you want to spend to really push out your ebook the next thing i would say will be really to go over and then use on um, these couple of tools um since we've already went through and established a lot of people are searching for this on google adwords we can try google adwords um, but for us, we'll see that these suggested bids are pr pretty high, but maybe um, we can get on here, we can rank for it, and, and we can actually can actually can put them in here through here, and we can pay a little bit less. You know, Maybe we can pay $0.10 cents or $0.30, cents. so something, something to look at for. Um, just something we're really looking to doing. Um, the next thing will be um, throwing the ads up and putting it over the, um, the, the display network. Um, most times, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but this could actually be, end up and actually get you a lot of people to actually get noticed and see what you're doing and give them a free ebook, especially if it's very targeted and it's on certain sites that can actually work very well for you. Um, the next thing I'll say, the really, really thing that I'm going to do a lot, I'm going to probably do a mix of all two of those, especially if the AdWords lends itself better to, um, to, to my offering and doesn't cost $4 a click, but um, I'm going to really go into YouTube ads. Um, basically, and then on YouTube ads, what you can, what you would do is that it's very easy. Um, you go to YouTube. I'm gonna go to my channel. Um, but we can go to YouTube, and then basically we'll search for. Let me see. How to define your target target audience, and we'll search for this right here, and then basically. Every single one of these videos, as you see, one of my videos ranks for on this page. But um, obviously, every single one of these videos, besides the first one, because that's the ad, um, we will put our actual video on all these videos. Put our ad on all these videos. So when people come here looking um, for how to define the target market, we'll be we'll basically get in the front of it. We'll be like, hey, um, this is you know I'm Xavier, or go into depth into basically that and, this, and show them our ebook and say that they can learn how to do this in less than 30 minutes. All you need to do is come to our website and download our free ebook. And that could be a good way to actually get a lot of email subscriptions and signups. Um, something I'm trying out right now. Um, I'll, I'll probably update you guys and show you how it works and go more details. Probably want a longer one or more of these when I go more into it. But that's another thing that we can go through and do um, too as well. Just put on each one of these right here. And you see there's some 6,000, 60,086,000 60, results. 686,000 results. So there's tons of results on here. Um, there's tons of um, views that you possibly get on here and you can put on each one and you can get a lot of people to um, really um, You know join into your opt into your form just to YouTube and on YouTube You can really get views for about one to two cents and if you do it right um, um Google actually offers For new people who haven't used Google AdWords They actually offer um coupons the, And so right now, um, LinkedIn's offering a twenty dollars coupon. Um, oh, then oh, yep. So that's not cool. something we talk about later. But yeah, you can go here and you can get a hundred dollar coupon voucher. You get a hundred dollar coupon. They have tons of um of these ones. But I'm gonna leave a link to this as well. But you guys watch out. These views you run out pretty fast. Um, but one thing you can do is go to Google, and I'll leave this in the description. And this is really for anybody new and you can get $75 worth of ads credits when you spend $25. So basically if you want to test it out and just see if this works and create a video and put it on the videos that I've showed you right there, put it over all of those, so many of you possibly can that are related to your, to your ebook topic. And then basically um, you can get about 7,500, um, basically 7,500 people to look at um, to get your ad. And these will be people who have watched over 15 seconds of your ad. So people who actually care about your ad and actually want to 
so you can get a good conversion and maybe get a hundred to a couple of thousand people to actually sign up and actually um really get onto your ebook and this could be for completely free and then you can do this continuously and then sell to that ebook and sell to that list that you have so that'll be the first that'll be the first and second option google adwords and youtube ads and then also using facebook ads um, especially if you have, if you already know your audience, Facebook ads will be very tremendous and easy for you to be able to really target them and get them to sign up and give you their email. And Facebook actually gives an option where you can they can you can get they can give you their email through the actual ad, and then you can be able to give them the PDF um, and then for them to be able to download your ebook. And then, but if you don't know your ad, then that's why um, that's a good thing too. If you don't know your ad, um, I'll put a, I'll be putting a video probably. Um, tomorrow on exactly on my actual ebook but um if you don't know your if you don't know your ad, you know your average um your audience and um basically i, I wrote an ebook and then i'm gonna put the link down below too as well and probably put it on the very end of this um video uh, of just of, of my ebook and how you can actually use that to actually learn how to use um basically how to figure out and find your target audience this really works very well um if you are really um you're really trying to build and actually trying to Build and define your audience to be able to determine where you should be marketing at, um, who you should be marketing to, and basically to, to cut any waste and make your marketing more, as efficient as possible. Something you really should look into doing. Uh, so, this is something I will be doing um, very um, very soon too, as well. Um, I, I just finished my ebook. I just want to see, walk you guys through the process of what I'm thinking about doing, and also so you can see, do, and so you can actually get started on your ebook. I had a couple of different people. And basically, when I was messaging them out on YouTube, um, that said that they didn't have to create an ebook. Um, so this video is basically to walk you through the whole process of creating an ebook, from basically from brainstorming to researching, um, to outlining, to going through your content, getting the editor, getting everything written out, to design, to publishing, to distribution and marketing. Um, so this really walks you through. And one thing too that. We're going to talk about member on the marketing portion you can use emails you can use giveaways you can use social media um you actually can go through and use use Quora and twitter to really push out your content get people to share it and then Quora to actually be able to rank in, in in the search engine it might take time and a lot of effort to answer all those questions but it's something that's well worth it as well um and then also too you can do it on you you can use for ads i mean you can use um pop-up ads on your site which is free and it just go to your regular traffic you have now put it on a blog post that's very relevant to this ebook you can get a lot of people to sign up um, and then on advertise maybe have some extra money or if you want to try google adwords um which you can possibly you can do this for free um with this right here it's 75 dollar coupon which i'll leave down below um and you can do this, you can do this on google adwords or you can use this on, on youtube ads as well and on youtube ads um, you really want to go through and let me go to YouTube ads. So basically, YouTube advertising, and this this will walk you through the whole process of setting up YouTube ads. And I'm going to do a video later on on how to set up YouTube ads, um, as well. Um, I've done it multiple times, and it works pretty well. And even different people I know get great success off YouTube ads if you do it right. Then um, you can get so many people, and there's so much content, and people are viewing different things. There's an unlimited amount of traffic. Um, you can do to sell almost any product. As long as there's an audience for it, you can sell it, and then you be able to do that using this Google AdWords. Um, face, then use Facebook ads, YouTube ads to really sell your product. So guys, if you like this type of video, I know it's a lot bit longer um, than my my usual video. Um, I just want to go more in depth because I know you, I know most of the time we go over just high level stuff. And I get I'm trying to get more practical advice and get more tutorial based to you. So tell me you like this stuff right here. Um, I'm gonna use it right here. And also too, look out for a course that I have going more in depth into even this right here segment of how to how to make an ebook. And I'm gonna go from basically from how to go through the content portion and also how to end up and actually distribute your ebook and actually actually get a lot of people into it, get a lot of people to either purchase it or give it away for free. And we're gonna do this through our website and also we're gonna do this through Amazon Kindle as well. Um, and really push out and get as many people to view it as well. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you um, right now on this on this video, subscribe right now, like this video. Also comment down below telling me um, you know different tactics that I made may have overseen, or different things that um, basically you um, that, that you want to try out, or different things that you got from this video that you're gonna try out. Just let me know. Um, basically, any questions you may have with this right here. If you need any help, um, I'm always around. Just send me. Um, a comment and also to just like I said before just make sure you guys subscribe 
Um, I'll be doing, I'm putting out videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, in a little bit, I'll be moving to three days a week. I'm still deciding on that right there to put out more content for you guys. I really want to help you guys build and sell digital products online. I'm going to give you a lot more tutorials and basically get you through the whole process of getting from from novice to actually be able to sell and make ten thousand dollars online um you know so you quit your job or do whatever you want to do or basically start your passion so make sure you guys subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the next one